morning. Welcome to prayers that light our path on this Friday morning before the 4th of July. You know, I love these times of the morning when I can come and sit and I can just have time alone with God. I call it my secret place. Many times people, it's early, they don't see my car here. and I can just enjoy time with with God in prayer. And you know, as I think about prayer, as I think about the prayer warriors that we have in place that are praying for people all over our community, all over our state, and all over our world, I think about the power of that prayer. My friends, we sent out a prayer request for someone who had contracted this dreaded enemy called COVID. When we put out the prayer call, it looked pretty dismal. Both the husband and wife both had it. The husband was being transferred to the intensive care unit with the threats of having to go on a respirator. My friends, because of the power of prayer, because of God listening to his people, the wife is free of symptoms now. The husband is improving considerably. His blood saturations of oxygen are maintaining in the high 90s without any oxygen. He's out of the intensive care unit and he's on the upward mend. My friends, that's the power of prayer. It reminds me of a verse in Psalms 116 verses 1 and 2. And that verse tells us, I love the Lord because He has heard me. He has heard my voice and my supplications because He has inclined His ear to me. Therefore, I will call upon Him as long as I live. Y'all, what a wonderful promise it is from the, the book of God that He tells His children, I will hear you if you will just speak to me. I will incline my ear to you if you will just talk to me and tell me what you need. God knows what we need, but God also wants us to come to Him and to ask Him, to ask Him for those things that we need. Go with me this morning to the Lord in prayer. Father, we come to you this morning Our hearts are so grateful for the abundance and the bounty of blessings that you give to us every day. Father, we appreciate the opportunity to be able to come to you and talk to you and tell you what our concerns are, what our desires are, knowing that you are going to listen to me as your child. And if it's in your plan, if it's in your will, if it's not an earthly desire, but a a, a Christian desire you're going to grant that wish Father thank you thank you for the mercy that you have on a poor old sinner boy like me and for all of us thank you for taking care of your church thank you for taking care of our community Father we have been protected from this enemy to a great extent We've only seen this enemy come into our midst only one time since all this started back on March the 13th. Father, thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your mercy. Father, be with those who need you. Be with those who need your intervention in their lives. Father, there's so many people that are hurting. There's so many people who are in need. There's people who are out of work that don't know where their next meal is coming from. There's people who have this dreaded illness and they don't know what their future holds for them. There's people who have other things in their life, whether it be child custody issues or whether it be divorce or whether it be looking at some other kind of 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 terrible thing whether it be faced with a diagnosis that they're unsure of what the future is going to bring father please be with them 
Give them the strength that they can transcend all of these things, knowing that you're with them, that your arms are wrapped around them, that you are loving them, that you are providing for them. Father, thank you. Thank you for being with all those and providing for all of them. Father, we love you. And in your name this morning we pray. Amen. You know, take a few minutes every day. Take a few minutes every day to spend reading your Bible, talking with our Savior. He loves to hear from you. And when we talk to Him, and when we lay whatever issues we have at His feet, He will provide for His children beyond anything we could ever imagine. Always remember, God loves you. I love you. And the people of the United Methodist Church love you. And I hope that you have a wonderful and blessed day.